You guys are beautiful. Thank you, friends, for joining me today. I do appreciate it a lot. Before I go any further, though, let me just remind you, like, comment, subscribe, and <laughs> that's a bell. Ring the bell! So, ring the bell. Okay, because that's the only way you're going to get notified of new videos. So make sure you do this, all right? Secondly, if uh, you're in interested in buying anything on the internet, please use our links down below, especially our Amazon link down below, or any of the links, actually, if you're interested in purchasing anything. Uh, it keeps us going here at the Shooting Guy channel. And to make it really easy, all you have to do is save the link into your bookmark so that when you're ready to purchase something, you click on your bookmark and you're ready to go. Thank you for doing so. All right, so what we have today, a uh, special shout out to uh, the guys over at 12 Survivors. Uh, we received from them today, uh, well, a couple days ago, a, uh, a, a hospital kit. Well, that's what Shooting Kid called it. He, he saw it and he went, it's like having a whole hospital in your, on your backpack, and it kind of is. Uh, it's actually a first aid kit. Um, so thank you, 12 Survivors. We're going to do a little bit of a test and evaluation of this thing uh, over the next few days. Uh, we're going to bring you the first one here today, and then there's so much more inside. Heck, this is going to get really loud. Hang on. Uh, yeah, Velcro. Look at this thing. Holy smoke. Look at that. Yeah, a lot of, lot of, lot of goodies in there. And uh, before we actually take a look at what's on the inside individually here, I'm going to throw this on the table and get to the specs! When all rolled up, it's about 15 inches wide. It's roughly six inches this direction. And it's about five inches thick when rolled up. When it's opened up, it's bigger than my table. Huh. And about uh, 32 and a half inches across, fully opened. It has 10 smaller zippered pouches and two longer pouches. You may be wondering what these uh, pieces of Velcro are for. Well, they're removable and you can move them from one place to another. You just take a Sharpie or a marker, label them, like in this case, tourniquet, put tourniquet, but if you want to put it over here, you can put it over here and then move the label and put it over there. Removable labels, kind of nice. It can easily attach to your backpack or your chest rig with uh, Molly compatible snaps here, or can be attached here with these Velcro straps. Pretty convenient multiple ways to get it onto your backpack. It has these handy adjustable clips. In case you overstuff it, you could let some of it out and get kind of big, or you could even put another pack inside of here and cinch it down. It weighs in at, when full as equipped, one pound, 14 and a half ounces. Of course, weights will vary depending on how you decide you want to pack this thing. It does have a morale pack that can come off with Velcro. You can put any morale patch you want on there. We're just gonna put the 12 survivors one. Alrighty, I have to uh, set this up uh, in a hanging style like this. What I do like about it is uh, it has these clips right here and I'll show you in this little demonstration on the outside that we did. Um, it does a great job. You can clip it onto a fence, to a branch, whatever, and you can just kind of hang the thing up and you have access to all of the different pouches that are here. It works well. I kind of like it. The other cool thing about this is, like I had mentioned in the specs, it's got these removable Velcro tabs and uh, you could type in, for example, here is emergency trauma bandage. You know, take a look at that. Um, and oh, look at this. A poncho, <laughs> which is kind of one size fits all. It's a 50 inch by 80 inch poncho. Um, pretty cool. Anyway, you just write on here. Uh, dressing and poncho, stick it on there. Uh, the other thing is, what I don't want to do is compare this 
to a, an emergency kit like this or, or, or a first aid kit like this. We did a review on this. You can check the uh, link down below. I'll have a link to our previous review, of this, the overview actually of this one. And this is great for uh, throwing in your backpack or if you have a boat or something, it's nice and waterproof. Um, but it's, it's limited, but it's designed to be small and compact. Okay, and for like a day hike or so. This thing is a, in a completely different kind of first aid kit realm. Um, this is for more multi-people backpacking trip. You're going to be gone a week and um, you could load it up with a whole lot more stuff than you could like this. Uh, maybe one of the drawbacks is that where this one is waterproof because it's in this particular container and you can buy this container for this pack. This is not waterproof. It is a very durable and rugged nylon as you can see. Uh, and it, uh, it is weather resistant, but if you wanted it to be waterproof, um, I would say get yourself a real big uh, a Ziploc bag, like when you go hunting and you can put, you know, a whole shoulder of pig. We've done that before. And when this thing gets rolled up, you just shove it in there, you Ziploc it, and it's going to be watertight. So if you're going to be in a wet environment, that's what I would recommend. That's what I do. I, I put everything in, in Ziploc bags and put it in my backpack anyway, just in case I get stuck in a river. All right, so having said that, we already took a look and see to see what was in the top here. Let's, um, uh, I'm gonna put a list, by the way, uh, accompanying uh, this video. Uh, sterile, non-woven gauze. I'm gonna put a link below or, or text down below that has the entire list. As a matter of fact, let me get off camera here. Here's a list right here. This is what it comes with right there. Take a look for yourself. Uh, but we're going to take a, a look this way. Um, and you could you could actually set this up antiseptic cleaning wipes, sting free. That's good. And there's that. Uh, more down here. There's some fun stuff in here. Let's see. This is uh, oh just a whole bunch of bandages. Right. So if you went down to Target or Walmart or something, and you just bought a bunch of Curad bandages, and you could restuff this pretty easily. You know, keep in mind. Something like this, what you're really buying is your first first aid kit, completely uh, outfitted by the manufacturer, but you're really buying an organizer to help you keep that first aid kit organized. So that's, that's always a plus. Um, and then you can stuff it later on with anything you want, anything. And again, you can label it however you want. A rescue blanket, one of those Mylar rescue blankets, that's pretty cool. Um, uh, here we go. Like in the, uh, you know, this one here, let's get this. You know, the cool thing about this, it came with a tourniquet. This one comes with a tourniquet too. It's a different kind of tourniquet. I haven't opened it up yet, but we will, and maybe we'll come back on another video and we'll, maybe we'll put the two tourniquets uh, side by side and see how they work and, and give you a little bit of instruction. I'm not an expert on tourniquet use, but I will say that, um, in an extreme emergency, use a tourniquet. Unlike some say, don't use a tourniquet, you might lose a limb. Well, I would rather lose a limb than lose my life if I know I'm bleeding out. So keep that in mind, okay? Um, train with it, understand how to use it, uh, and then don't be afraid of it if you do absolutely need it, okay? So that's just in my two cents. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a guy that doesn't want to necessarily die unnecessarily. Okay, uh, scissors here. You saw that in the other clip. You can... Uh, yeah, cut clothes with that. Let's put this back in the plastic bag. Here's just some uh, little scissors. You know, just a, a little pair of scissors. You may have one already on your multi-tool. Uh, I know my Leatherman Wave has scissors. However, you've got some in your emergency kit here. And uh, what else we got? A uh, uh, one pair of large size. Oh, it's a dental dam. Yeah, so you can, you know, if you need to do mouth to mouth, and the other person is bleeding profusely and you don't know if you're going to contract some things that they may have that you don't know anything about um, or maybe you've got something that you don't want to give to them because they are bleeding uh, put this on oh these are gloves yeah these are gloves disposable gloves and this is a, a dental dam i have another dental dam that i've used because i'm cpr trained and i've got a few of those in my backpack my daily pack um, but you know put it on there and, and you're protected from any bodily fluids that may get in and out of your mouth so that's always a good good uh, idea. What else we got here? Big old hunk of tweezers. Dude, look at that. Almost like a, it's got a little clip thing here. So it might be a little bit like tweezers and a hemostat 
where it stays closed if you need it to. Uh, maybe there's an artery exposed and you want to pinch it off. Yeah, that's what a that's what a hemostat is good for. Uh, tape, you know, surgical tape. You may need that. That's good. And then uh, down here in this little section here, just a bunch of gauze. And uh, yeah, yeah. That's elastic bandage. Oh, elastic. Okay, it's it's a rubberized elastic kind of bandage in case you get a cut in the wound. Um, and so I can already see where even though this comes fairly well um, outfitted, I'm going to come into my backpack that I got over here. There are a few things in here. Hang on a second. There are a few things here. <laughs> you know what that is, folks? It's a tampon. Don't let uh, others tell you, don't put a tampon in. Look, if you just got shot and it's clean through and it's bleeding out, shove the stinking thing in there and absorb it and let it clot up and then get to a professional that may be able to help you get that thing out. What I would say is don't stick it in and then try to pull it out later. That would be not so good. We're talking about saving lives, folks. You know, and I got a little pouch here that's got a few essentials um, that, that's always helpful. So, you know, my backpack right now has got a few things inside of it in strategic places. It's all in one pouch, but strategically placed so that I know where they are. I can see where this could come in really handy where, you know, I'm going on a big pack. I'm going to stick that in there and it'll it'll live on my uh, um, backpack, right? Or somebody's backpack who's the doctor after you get it all rolled up. If uh, you're interested in this thing, I would say go to my link down below, check out 12 Survivors. They, you know, they do more than, you know, clearly do more than this. We did a 12 Survivors, a 16 watt solar uh, charger, right? For USB stuff. Um, check that out on the link. They do this here. We've got a few other things we want to bring to you, but we just thought we'd bring a med kit, a uh, first aid kit. This is a little bit more than just a single day first aid kit. Like I said, it's, it's designed for, um, a few people, and then don't be afraid to outfit this in such a way that uh, you can pack it with whatever you want. All right, that's it. Thanks guys, appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. If you have some questions or comments, leave them down below. Don't forget our Amazon link down below and all the other affiliate links that we have. Every time you purchase something through our uh, uh, links, it helps us here at the Shooting Guy Compound, including picking up one of these. If you have questions about it, leave a comment. I'll answer your questions, and uh, hopefully you'll decide you get yourself one. You know what? It's first aid kits. Um, there are a bunch of different kinds and different approaches to first aid kits, but I tell you, anything is better than nothing. And I would rather have something with me and never need it than to need it and not have it. And that's the truth. All right, guys. God bless you. God bless America. May America bless God.